Good morning, good morning, heathens. It is indeed morning. You may hear the resident gremlin over here chewing away. I've just served him his breakfast, and I do not eat this early in the morning, but I do have my coffee right next to me. So today we are drinking a black coffee with a little bit of almond milk. It is a flavored coffee though. It is a cinnamon and vanilla flavored black coffee unsweetened with a little bit of almond milk. So we have our fuel and we are going to get going on a busy day. I have a day filled with art and coconutty business to do. So quick little sip here and what are we doing today? So this, this. I will not be sharing all of the coconutty stuff that I have to do because Duh, this is my art channel. But today, we will be doing some sketching for my Patreon patrons. Oh, November crept up on us, didn't it? So I need to get a page out for them. I have so many cute ideas for autumnal pages. And in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, oh, I have some time to get going on them. And then I realized, girl, it's already the first week of November. You need to get a page out soon. So we're going to be working out one of those ideas it's of course fashion and autumn related. So we're gonna be working on that. And then I'm going to be beginning a fresh color and chat in Tropagoth. We've been seeing a lot of Tropagoth lately. I gave her a little bit of a break, but I'm itching to work on this. I just, I love this book. Come on, it's so me. We gotta whip it out and work on something. And then, let's see. Well, this is gonna be, I have, well, I'll mention it. <clears throat> so my new coloring book is complete. My proof should be arriving tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. Tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, something like that. And uh, I have a couple little things to tweak. I have some graphics to work on for it, but I mean, the book is done. As soon as I approve it, um, I'm going to set the release date, assuming that I don't have to make any corrections. So fingers and all extremities crossed that the corrections are minimal. They usually are, but you know how that is. So uh, let's see what else. Oh, it got a package orders too. So there's going to be some sketching to be done today, color and chat to be done, or at least to be started, uh, some work for the new coloring book, order packaging, and work for my online boutique, my art and fashion boutique, Coconati. So without further ado, let's get started. A little peeky peek at the illustration that I'm working on for my patrons. Isn't she cute? Isn't she fabulous? She's just so like, ugh, look at me. Autumnal fabulousness with my hat and my dress. Mm, I love her. Anyway, all right, let's get to work. Good morning. I am up a little earlier than usual because I have a number of errands that I need to run. My computer's starting up. I have you on my desk here. Most importantly, we are getting our head chopped off. So haircut finally, I am months overdue. I am currently transferring bags. That's what you see me messing around with down here. But yeah, it is it is haircutting day. Months overdue, it's about time. So next time you see me, we are likely to be about this short. Ooh, that's a lot, I can't wait. So anyway, I just wanted to check in today and say, today is a haircutting day and also a work day because I have tons of work to do. As soon as I get home, are we gonna go with these glasses today? We're gonna go with these? Or I think we're gonna go with these. We're gonna go with these. Classic black and gold. Uh, my, check out my shoes. Well, actually, I'll, I'll get a shot of my shoes as I'm walking out the door. Today's gonna be new coloring book work. I'm finalizing the new book and ordering the proof today. And then it is going to be uh, packaging orders and some other artwork. So let's get on with the day. But here, here's a peeky peek 
at my kooky shoes. Ah, I love them. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go to the guillotine. What an extreme contrast in lighting, am I right? This is what the world looks like outside of my apartment. So I just wanted to explain that super extreme color grading that you are going to see. You just saw it and you are going to see it a little bit later. I do not turn on, I don't open the curtains nor do I turn most of the lights on until later on in the morning and because I was getting an early start today, I didn't bother. In order for you to see me, vampire that I am, I had to do this crazy color grading, but I kind of like it, so we might see it again in the future. So anyway, that's that on that. Let's get on with the day. I just walked in the door literally two seconds ago. This one is freaking out. Like, you have not properly said hello to me yet. And actually, it's warm outside, so you are allowed to be a naked boy today. He's naked now. Uh, errands are done for the day. I just have to get down to work. As you can see, well, maybe you cannot see on camera, but. No, actually you can. This is very much, this is very much in frame. I have so much clothing to process for Coca Naughty that I need to begin that. There's no way I'm going to finish today, but I'm going to get a little bit of that done today. But the priority <clears throat> today is going to be artwork. So I'm going to eat, I'm going to feed the dog, and then, well, let, let me reverse that order because he eats first. I'm going to feed him first, I'm going to fix myself something to eat, and then it's going to be ordering that coloring book proof. I asked my patrons to pick between two different options for cover color, for color schemes of the cover. It's the exact same version, but just slightly uh, tweaked. And so I am going with that option and I'm ordering the proof today. The proof should be here within the week. It typically comes within a few days. So as soon as I get the proof copy in my hands, then we shall proceed with finalizing the new book and getting it ready. So aside from that, let's see, getting the proof copy, that's what I'm going to do right now. Computer is on, I'm gonna get on there and submit that request. And then I have some sketching to do because I have a couple of ideas for a couple of projects. And I, I'm in the mood to either watercolor or paint today. I don't know, so we'll see what's gonna go with that. But um, working on art, packaging orders and then at the end of the night we're going to continue working through this pile isn't my bag adorable that's my shopping bag i love that bag. anyway uh yeah that um clothing rack right there is coconati so that needs to get dealt with and uh, yeah we need to just get started with the day officially i went and got my hair cut earlier today and i haven't done it i haven't turned on any of my lights yet I have not, you know, just the pink situation is not on back here. My little bat is not on, nothing. We need to just officially get started with the day. So let's do it. Spoiler alert. This is an upcoming color in chat. I never provide spoilers, but I'm doing it today. Why? Because I am a dingus and I did not insert the in progress color in chat footage. So, hey, better for you. Now you get to see the finished project. I, project? Ugh, product. I mean, anyway, I freaking love this page. I love this page. Color and chat coming soon for my coloristas out there. And now we are moving on to more fun stuff. Let's package orders. Look who's going out the door. Oh, one of my favorite illustrations ever has to be this portrait of, of course, my dear, sweet, tyrannical papa, daddy dearest. A one Mr. Some of you already know who this is, right? I hope you know who this is. If you don't, you know, I don't care what people say. Cruel tyrant, evil, horrible man, or, you know, national hero. Take your pick. I would like to say he's a bit of both. But anyways, this is a portrait of, of course, Mr. Dracul, Mr. Vlad Tepish, Mr. It's freaking Dracula, right? The historical figure. But of course, I gave him the Carla treatment. He's purple, he's pink, he's sparkly. And these are arch prints. Uh, the original, I kept the original. The original was never up for sale and it will never be up for sale because again, it's one of my favorite illustrations ever. And uh, the real one, the actual illustration is 
super glittery and obnoxious and of course his face reflects that right he's very upset over the glitter treatment but uh anyway that one is going out the door i have one or two left at the moment i don't remember i only keep those in stock until right around the spooky season because i know i gotta be a cliche annoying animal uh and then i restock the next year so if you want one there are one or two of them left in the shop but they're not limited edition if they sell out this year they will likely be back next year anyway uh yeah so let's get on to packaging orders i just wanted to come in and say a big fat juicy thank you to the person who ordered i mean i don't know if this individual watches my channel but if you do you got your hands on one of my favorite art prints and you know, another reason why I am getting down to talk about this is because when do you ever see me illustrate men? I mean, I do. You've seen men in my coloring books, but it is few and far between that I do illustrate male figures. Unless they're drag queens, right? Unless they're boys in makeup, unless they're some sort of theatrical glam monster. And Dracula definitely is not. But anyway, it's it's fun to... Uh, to explore other avenues and hey when something is inspiring it's inspiring and in this case family portrait i mean even though he's been upset with me for several hundred years and i've been essentially exiled is a harsh word but um you know these things happen when you run away from home and you're uh, but I still love him, even though he's a horrible person. He'll come around, maybe. Yeah? Anyway, let's get on with the vlog. Thank you, by the way, to those of you who ordered a Carla starter kit. If you are new to my channel or if you do not watch my vlogs regularly, I recently told you all uh, that I was going to be putting together starter kits. Those are now in the shop. They've actually been in the shop for a few days now and I sold a couple. So thank you so much. In these starter kits, there's a selection of art prints, stickers, just all sorts of goodies. And I went into detail the explanation in my previous vlog. If you don't care about the explanation and you are just itching to know what is in these starter kits, head on over to my Etsy shop. I do have two different price points available and uh, they were limited to 13. Now, during the course of my filming this vlog, I did sell two, so we are down to 11, but still, that's there's still plenty available if anyone would like to get their little paws on a starter kit. I just think they're so cute, they're so fun, and they are a wonderful way to become introduced, become acquainted with my artwork, and to start my collection. Or if you know someone who is a fan of my work, it's a nice little gifty gift. So. Anyway, without further ado, I keep saying that, but then I keep popping in here, chit-chatting some more, but thank you. Thank you to everyone who ordered art prints and stickers. As always, it is a pleasure packaging your orders and sending them off on their way and knowing that they are going to be making it into your mailboxes very soon. I have so many, by the way, of these bags left that um, I'm keeping them. I'm keeping them and I'm going to be packaging artwork in these until further notice I think um I may actually use them for coconati as well because they they definitely fit the aesthetic of that store but uh I think if people order art prints from uh my Etsy shop whatever's left because as I've been telling you all for quite a while now I'm whittling down my selection of art prints in my Etsy shop moving forward my Etsy shop is going to be exclusively for stickers and coloring books but that said I still have uh, art prints there that I am um, again, I'm whittling down that stock. They will not be restocked, but I like these bags. It, it's the little things, guys. It's the little things. It's the details. It's freaking leopard print bags. <sighs> leopard print. Mm. Okay. Okay. Now that that's why did that sound like a buzz? I still I'm still traumatized <laughs> by being stung by a bee. I don't know when I mentioned it. I don't know if it was a color in chat. I don't know if it was a vlog, but I told you guys that it's just a couple of months now, but I still see bees. And I just, I just, I'm not afraid of them. I don't scream, you know, in terror, but um, I, I don't, I don't need my gag reflex to be uh, activated again because of the whole trauma that is a bee sting. So anyway, got the first bee sting of my life recently. And uh, anyway, that was supposed to be, again, on a tangent, that little bzz was supposed to be me shutting my mouth so that you can enjoy the rest of the vlog or at least the rest of this segment in peace all right just just stop talking just stop talking 
<laughs> she lied. She lied to you all. I just wanted to insert some footage of me packaging an order for my other brand, White Bat Wax. You all, I don't... Okay, ever since I started filming my vlogs throughout the course of a week, you know, I, I film a little here, a little there, then I edit it all together. When it comes to editing, I, I don't have a precise system. I'm not a stickler for rules and technicalities. I just film things. I plop them into my video editor and then if I need to insert voiceover, then I insert voiceover. I don't pre-plan. I don't I just I'm not methodical that way when it comes to a vlog because freaking vlogs are supposed to be casual, right? Casual, day in the life, week in the life, month in the life, whatever it is, right? I'm not highly produced professional, but I wanted to include this clip because I have put I don't want to say that I put White Bat Wax, which is my home fragrance line, on hiatus. It is not on hiatus, but I am currently out of a lot of supplies, and I have a lot. I have a backlog of work to get to for Coconati. I'm doing a lot of tweaks to that store that need to take priority. So in order for me to handle all of the balls that I'm juggling right now, I would forget balls. I am. What am I juggling? I'm juggling flaming napalm balls uh what are those things called molotov cocktails there you go i am juggling molotov cocktails at the moment and i made the decision to slow my ass down i know shocker and really truly sit down with myself and say okay you need to get this done you need to make some changes here handle this first and then revisit white bat wax so I have run out of wax completely and I cannot work on any new fragrances. I cannot work on any new designs. I can't do anything for this brand. So uh, I do have some wax left in the shop and this is some of it going out. And I just wanted to show you guys the process of my packaging for that brand because I freaking love that brand. It is not going anywhere. I just need to redirect my energies for the next few weeks to Coconati and it's a good time to do so anyway because it's the end of the year and I don't want to pile any more work on myself. Um, but uh, White Bat Wax will be replenished, will be restocked, new scents, and all of that coming next year. But for now, this is it. If you have been looking to try my scents, if you've been curious about this brand, now is the time to do it uh, because once I run out of the stock that I have, that's going to be it until uh, early next year. It won't be too long, but... Anyway, just just so you know, just so you know, because I know I have some of you who uh, enjoy my line of home fragrance. So unfortunately, candles did not happen this year. That's what I wanted to do. But hey, things happen. I can't do it all. I wish I had a team, but I don't. I am a one woman freak show and I'm going to take this as an opportunity to say, you see, I fumble sometimes. I take on way too much, way too much for myself, right? Because I, I, I'm a workaholic, I am, but sometimes, you know, even I have to be self-aware enough to say, hey, step back a little bit. And you do, you have to take a couple steps back in order for you to leap forward later. And that's what I'm doing here. But hey, if I can do it, if I can take on all of this freaking work for myself and I can still enjoy it and I can still be productive, so can you. So can you. I'm sounding like a corny motivational speaker, but some people need to hear it. So anyways, all right, onward. Look at my cute branding. Look at my freaking cute branding. Okay, okay. Shh. This time, this time, I think I'm going to, I'm actually going to fast forward a little bit and make sure that I'm going to be silent for the next few seconds. Yes. <laughs> now I am going to stop talking. Okay, everyone, that is going to do it for today's vlog. I'm drinking coffee, just plain black coffee today. Um, that's, that, that's it. I'm going to be spending some time in one of my sketchbooks. I have not decided which one. I think we're going to go with the square one today. I started this year with three sketchbooks and one of them has not gotten very much use because, I mean, I have two other ones to go through, right? But these two have been my my partners in crime all year, and I can't believe how much work I've actually done in both of them, quite a bit. Uh, are we almost done with the sketchbooks? No, this one's about halfway done. And this one, this one is damn near complete. I have about five pages, I think, left in this one before it is complete. But 
Anyways, it's going to be a pretty chill afternoon here, just hanging out in my sketchbook, working out some ideas, and it's one of those situations where I have, I have quite a bit on my mind at the moment, and the best way for me to problem solve is typically to spend time, excuse the beast, in silence, uh, just working it out, right? Just thinking, letting, just letting the thoughts happen. I highly suggest you try that. Uh, just zone everything out, no TV, Music is fine. Music helps me think. I'm sure it helps many of you think as well. But yeah, just spend some time in your sketchbooks, in your coloring books, and just, just work it out. Work it out. Yeah? So that is going to do it for this vlog. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and uh, just watching me work. Be bad. Be good. I don't give a damn which. Just make sure you come back in one piece. Ah. Uh, coffee. I'm pretending it's cold today. It's 70 degrees ish. And for me, I'm like, Oh, that's, that's, that's hot coffee weather. <laughs> Anyways, be bad, be good. I don't give a damn which just make sure you come back in one piece and I will see you in the next one.